thanks so much for joining me for this unique haul. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. So this haul is unique because I don't even know what's been selected here because I didn't pick them out. My husband was traveling to Shanghai and stumbled upon a Sephora. He FaceTimed me from there, kind of showed me around and asked me what I would like. And I, I actually couldn't really see because it was kind of um, fuzzy, kind of distorted. So I said, just go ahead and pick whatever you think I would like. So these are my husband's picks from Sephora in Shanghai. So I'm really interested. I did ask if he could find things that were unusual um, or unique to Asia that I couldn't get here. I wanted to see what those things were. He's not even sure what he got me, so this should be really interesting. Let's go ahead and just see what's in here. This is not the bag it came in, though there was a Sephora bag, but I think he kind of got rid of that before he packed. So I just have to say my husband's one of the biggest supporters of my channel and encourages me to keep it going. This is indeed a marathon and it helps to have someone behind you cheering you on and encouraging you to make another video because sometimes, honestly, I might not be in the mood to make a video. So I think I put out a video almost every week since I started three or so years ago. So. Yeah, so he doesn't really know makeup except for hearing me talk about it, so it'll be interesting to see what he picked. I also said eyes, cheeks, and lips would be great if he could pick me something up so I could put a look together, so we will see. Okay, so this first thing is this. Um, it says Wei Royal Ming, and everything is in a different language that I don't read. So let's see what this is. I still don't know what this is. Pretty box. Here is the box and I still don't know what it is. I mean, I'm expecting it's like a bar of soap, but that wouldn't make sense because that's not makeup. Um, oh, it is skincare. So we have a foaming cleanser and there's a cream as well. And then there's also a tonic, Imperial Tonic. So that's nice, got some skincare. I'll prep with that and see how that goes. Here's the next thing. It says Rat Tat, let's play with stamps. Oh, Stamp Up Matte Finish Air Cushion. Fabulous as liquid foundation, secret to your perfect matte finish look. And I don't usually go for matte foundations. Um, I don't think he knows that much about what I pick for foundation. Actually, yeah, that's funny because he said, I think I got your foundation. I don't know. Usually I'll pick a radiant or like a luminous kind of finish. So let's see. Color Studio. Oh, this is Marie Dalgar. I remember actually I could see that sign when he was kind of walking through Sephora. There's like little cards in here that give you, I guess, inspirational quotes or something. I don't know what we can get here or not get here. So I, I will research and I'll put the information below. So it's a cushion, a matte cushion foundation. He did tell me that when he was looking at foundations that they kept showing him really, really fair colors. And he's like, um, here, it's her picture. And they said, oh yeah. Uh, so there's a, like a, a little sponge in there. And this is where the foundation, is it in here? No, I'm confused. Like there's something in here and then there's something, there's something in here. I feel like, should I open this? Oh, there's foundation in there. Okay, so if there's foundation in there, looks a little bit fair, but we'll see. Um, yeah, it looks a little fair, but we'll try, I mean, we'll try it. So I don't know what's in here. What is in here? This might be the applicator. No, it's a refill. Okay, so I'm gonna keep trying to seal that back up. That's interesting. So they give you one and then like a backup. Okay. I will check the ingredients. So usually when something's made in another country, I will check to make sure what's in them as well. Okay, so this is a, the story is sketched by you, Sketch It Brow Packed Duo. So again, this is that Marie Delgar. Again, you have more of those cards. Oh, see, this is nice, this brow product. It's a powdery product, a brow powder, kind of like the ones that we see here. Ay, 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 okay, anyway. Hold on, something fell. And so here is the brow powder. Wow, that's very cool. I mean, that almost looks like it has green tones, like a khaki color to it. So you don't usually see that shade here, but it might work better, I don't know. And then there's a very cool, <gasps> and there's a very cool, <gasps> it fell out, it fell out, it fell out. Okay, but it stayed together, look, oh gosh, okay. So this, I'm not gonna hold it at that angle again, but it's um, kind of like got a waxier consistency as you can see because it's stuck together. Like if that was a powder, it would have just totally crumbled. 
So, okay, back in there. So there it is. And that's got a couple of brow brushes. Oh, this is interesting. It's a brush that folds out. So it's the applicator and then a little brow brush, but you can fold it. So, oh, that's smart. So that you can apply it and then you can also fit it back in there. Because I do use a spoolie when I apply brow products. So that's very convenient. Okay. So, so far foundation, eyebrows, and then some skincare. Okay, this is made in Korea. So this is Style Nanda. N-A-N-D-A, -A. I like the color of this. I don't know what this is though. Oh, it's an eye color palette. Oh, that's really pretty. It's got like rose gold hair on me, but it really pretty colors though. It's like a rose gold shades. There's some shimmery, like glittery colors, some shimmers, and then like a couple of mattes in there. I'll swatch them for you. It's really pretty. Overtake is the name of this palette. You've got this, oh, it's a Sephora Kabuki brush. And it says it's a vegan. The number seven kabuki brush. I am interested in some brushes from Japan though. I don't know if this is made in Japan or not, but ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, sorry, the sun's going away. That's a really nice one. By the way, I think I forgot to mention, thank you very much for voting. I did put this on my Instagram stories and asked you if you wanted me to open it when I posted or you wanted me to film an unboxing and it was just a few people but kind of pushed it over the edge of course unboxing it in a video so that's why I'm making this video today so thank you for participating I don't know if I threw that in at the beginning so if I did not thank you again for participating it's always fun to get your feedback because I wanted to open it right away but then I thought maybe you wanted to see me unbox it so again thanks for your input the sun's kind of like in and out so sorry for the coloring here if it's changing a lot um oh we have another uh lip product not another we have a lip product from that same company style nanda it's a soft lip lacquer oh this is pretty it's like an i'm surprised you picked this color because it's kind of bright it's like a cayenne kind of color in explicit so or hashtag explicit yeah he's not a fan of bright lipsticks on me um usually it's like a kind of a neutral nude type of color um, so we'll see how that looks. And it looks like it's got a liquid lipstick kind of texture, but it also says soft lip lacquer. So I wonder if it's more like a melted lipstick, like um, kind of like those clay de peau ones. So I'm wondering if that's a kind of wear that I'll get on it. We'll see. We have an obsessed natural glow lipstick. And this is from that Marie Dalgar company again. Okay, it's in 111 Supreme Disdain. Oh, okay. It's pretty, it kind of looks like that black honey like Clinique, that kind of a shade, like a raisiny kind of color. Looks pretty though. And I like the packaging, it's unique. And it has a little bit of a magnet and I like this color, it's like a burgundy color. This is again, Marie Delgar. And this is an eyeshadow palette. And this is another eyeshadow palette. It's fun just to see products from different parts of the world and see what they have to offer. So here's the palette. It's got a texture on it. And let's see. Ooh, this reminds me of those um, Urban Decay palettes. Because I don't know if it's a dupe for that one. Let me get rid of this. It has a pretty hefty plastic covering on it, but here are the shades. Oh, that'll go really pretty with both of these colors of um, lipsticks. That'll be fun to play with. I'll probably put a look together with all these. This is an 01 Ray of Sun. Oh no, there's two more things. Let's take this one out. This is another, oh, lip tint. It's a velvet lip tint by Style Nanda. So here's that color. That color keeps coming up. It's like a warm burgundy color. And this is, oh, also more dramatic. I am surprised. Okay. So again, wondering what kind of, it's velvet lip tint. So I wonder if that's more like the, um, like the Armani, those Armani, what are they called? I did one in the red, that red color. But it reminds me of that kind of idea. But as a dope foot applicator, it's got like a, it's like a brick type of color. So again, these aren't colors I would normally pick. So it'll be fun to try these because, I mean, any of the eyeshadow palettes I probably would pick, um, but not these lip shades. Okay, and then we have another lipstick. We have eyes, face, and lips. So no blush, but that's okay because I have so many other blushes I need to try out anyway right now. And now I have a lot of lipsticks to try out. So this is a matte. This is in this packaging. 
and oh it's one of these kinds of uh it's matte 133 it's this kind of magnetic packaging again and i feel like is this the same one 133 matte and this one is oh 111 oh they're very similar looking so this is 133 matte and then this is wait no, where is it where's the other one and this is oh no they're different this one's a little bit more brown in this packaging it's a little bit more reddish and this one's matte and this one is glow so two different ones as well okay so that was fun probably better he picked out makeup for me because sometimes when i see so many new things i get a little bit overwhelmed especially if i don't know much about the company so i'm very happy that he picked some fun things out for me again i'm surprised at the lipsticks he chose because these are pretty bold choices all of these shades usually it's like he prefers a more like neutral kind of lip so these will be fun to try out just retracing my steps we've got two eyeshadow palettes too to try out the marie dalgar one and then also the uh, style nanda the one that's the korean brand and then finally this foundation which i don't know it i just washed it on my hand it looks very light but we'll try it the bronzer can do a lot to help powders can do a lot to help but we'll see but it's a matte finish air cushion oh yes and then this kabuki brush which is really nice oh sorry and then also we have there's so many things we have the brow product too to try out so i will test them out for you let you know how they go so I'll come up with a look using the things that i like the most and give you some feedback if you ever travel overseas it's just kind of fun to try out new makeup i didn't do that as much in italy actually i couldn't find as many things that were just made in italy when i went there um i probably should have gone to a different place other than sephora but this sephora in shanghai carried items that they don't typically carry here in the united states so thanks again for participating and letting me know you wanted to see me unbox them on camera for you uh, i really do appreciate it and thank you again for your time so if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you next time thanks